Tonight, we know at least 20 people, most of them children, have gotten sick with E. coli. At least nine of them are in the hospital tonight, and even more potential cases are under investigation. All those people say they got sick after swimming in Lake Anna over the Memorial Day weekend. And now that water is being tested for bacteria to see if it's safe. Our Katie Lesso is following this story for us tonight. And Katie, uh, you spoke with two people in Stafford County who got sick. How are they doing tonight? I did, and right now they are hoping for the best. They were at the lake for Memorial Day weekend enjoying the weather, but just days later, both the woman I spoke with and her two and a half year old granddaughter became violently ill, eventually diagnosed with E. coli. Tonight, her granddaughter is still in the hospital. The most terrifying part was just trying to figure out what was wrong for days. Holly Johnson says it's been a rough couple of weeks for her and her family. On Memorial Day weekend, they went to Lake Anna. A few days later, both she and her two and a half year old granddaughter started to feel sick. I don't think I've ever had stomach pains like that in my life. Both were eventually diagnosed with E. coli. Her granddaughter's health only got worse, though. Her kidney function started to decline and actually fell below 5% function. She had developed HUS. HUS stands for hemolytic uremic syndrome. Medical experts describe it as a complication from E. coli that can cause kidney failure. It's been rough. She has a little port on her chest, which, you know, has been bothersome for the dialysis. There are two of more than 20 people, according to the Virginia Department of Health, who got sick after visiting the Lake Anna area Memorial Day weekend. The majority were children and at least nine were hospitalized. The Department of Health says they haven't been able to confirm that exposure to the lake is the cause of the illness. I'm certainly getting in the lake and I feel comfortable there's no E. coli at this point. Greg Baker is with the Lake Anna Civic Association. He says they do their own testing of the lake four times a year, most recently last week. They got the results back on Friday. All 26 sites on the lake had either no E. coli or E. coli that is well below what's considered to be normal. He says that doesn't rule out the possibility that it was in the water and says people should take precautions as it's still a lake and not a chlorinated pool. Very well could have been an E. coli outbreak over the Memorial Day weekend and certainly by June 4th, the E. coli could have dispersed. As for Johnson, she says she believes what she and her granddaughter got came from the, the lake. People in comments saying, you know, the lake is safe. It's not you guys must have all ate something, but that many families that don't know each other couldn't have all ate the same thing. We and we know tonight that testing on the lake by the Commonwealth was done yesterday and the DOH says we can expect to see the results as early as tomorrow. They plan to do another test again later this month. Now the Civic Association told me tonight they're also planning to do some more testing of their own before the 4th of July. Leslie. Boy, you see all these families wanting to get together to do something festive and this was the end result. Katie, we'll be thinking of them. Thank you.